Here I have a 1972 20 horsepower. Um, the owner said it's running a little weird. So when I first took the hood off, it's pretty easy to see why. You can see all this paint flaking off here. That's kind of obvious signs that it was overheated. You can tell it's flaking off the head. The bolts are starting to uh, flake apart. I'm not going to worry about the rust on the old spark plugs, but that's still notable. But you can really see that paint kind of flaked and burned off kind of everywhere on here. Even as far as down under the plate here, you can see it. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the power head off, rip it apart, and see what the insides look like. Alright, I got the power head off. I'm going to go ahead and start taking apart the uh, front end here. Start with the intake manifold. Do the time plate here, head, and take it apart and see what's going on inside. I like to use air tools for this. <laughs> Looks pretty clean. Doesn't look like any sand or any real corrosion's going on inside of there. So it's kind of a nice little thing to see. Crank looks pretty good. Inside looks really clean. So like only one's going to give me problems. Problem. See all that rust? This engine never stood a chance. I mean, look at the inner piston there. This engine's toast. That moves. Gotta give it credit for that. I never have any luck with these taper pins. Ever. You can uh, see some moisture in the crankcase shafts. Don't quite know how that got in there, but quite a bit of it. Surprisingly, the piston's really not that bad looking. I mean, it's horrible, don't get me wrong. It's just, it's not that bad. I expected much worse. I mean, it's pretty, pretty tore up. So it looks like somebody went in there with a the hammer and just kind of hammered it out of there. I don't know who did that, but not too bad. Useless, don't get me wrong, but not too bad. So overall, I think this thing needs a power head. And it might run again, but I don't really think it's going to be worth it. So, if you think you're uh, thinking about buying an engine that has some cracked uh, paint on the powerhead, looks like it might have been overheated. It probably was, and you're probably going to wind up with some crap that looks like this. So, yeah, not a good buy in my opinion. 
All right, I went ahead and took the lower off just to have a look at the water pump. So I broke this, so ignore that, but take a look at the water pump in this thing. Yeah, that was never gonna pump water. That was a pretty obvious sign of why this engine overheated. So if you're ever gonna be working one of these things, don't just go out there and fire it up. Check the impeller, because this this is just a joke. This, this was never gonna keep anything cool, ever.